Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the University High School Gymnasium for this district battle between the Lady Trojans from the University High School and the Lady Hawks from Red Oak. This is a District 14 5A affair. First time that these two teams meet this year in the district round robin. Matter of fact, this is the final game of the first round between the district teams. The starters for the Red Hawks being announced under head coach Darren Eubanks. First off, a 5'5 senior, Micah Cooper, number one. Another guard, a 5'3 senior, number three, Aliyah Harden. A 5'8 sophomore, number five, Brianna Davis. A 5'5 five, five sophomore, number 23, Amaya Bowie. And the only forward of the five starting, number 35, a 6'2 junior, Anaya Johnson. The Red Oak, Red Oak Harks come in with a record of 18 and 6 on the year, and they are 5 and 0 oh in district action. They are on top of the league standings as we start to end the first round robin of the district schedule. Trey Lloyd is the head coach of the Lady Trojans. They've won just one game in 23 tries this year. They're 0-4 in district play. They'll start off with a 5-4 sophomore, number three, Candace Casares. A 5-4 sophomore, number 15, Serena Guardiola. A 5-6 senior, number 20, Michaela Davis. A 5-11 senior, number 33, Sheridan Gamble, who is the team's leading scorer. And a 5'8 junior, number 35, Alexis Hadnock. Starting 5 for the University Lady Trojans, who won their second game of the year on Saturday, this past Saturday, when they defeated Ennis 44-31. That's their only district win so far. They're 2-22 and on the season. They won their very first game of the year against Waco High, 49-33, but then went on a long losing streak as Trey Lloyd is playing with a lot of young players this year. He does have one, two, three, four seniors on this squad. Trying to finish the first part of the round robin with a couple of wins, see if they can't stick a loss in the column of the league leading Lady Hawks. Alexis had not jumping with Anaya Johnson and it's controlled by Reto. High school girls basketball plays four eight minute quarters. Michael Cooper. Going in the corner for a three-point shot from Bowie, but no good. Rebounded by Caceres for University. Ball is knocked out of bounds, and it'll go back to Reddo. Davis triggering the action. Down low it goes to... Johnson, Johnson's turnaround shot no good, and University comes up with the rebound. Caceres looks for the baseball pass, gets it off to Guardiola. Guardiola picked up by Bowie, hands it off to Michaela Davis. Ball goes out of bounds and it's turned over to Reto. We played 55 seconds. Nobody's put a ball in the basket yet. Ready to get back to play. Drive in, throw out to the three-point arc, drive into the bucket, and it will fall finally for Aliyah Harden, her first basket of the night. Two nothing in favor of Red Oak. Red Oak showing a full court press. University having a little trouble getting the ball in and got a timeout call 
by University to avoid the five second violation on getting the ball in. Trey Lloyd being assisted tonight by his dad, Taro Lloyd. Lloyd family been involved in basketball here on the University campus for quite some time. Head coach for the Hawks is Darren Eubanks. His son is playing for the men's team. This game is being recorded on Friday, January the 17th for replay on Waco ISD TV. So University will get the inbounds to pass. Saris gets trapped at the timeline. Shot put up no good. Rebounded by University. Sheridan Gamble comes down with it. Gamble now takes it inside the arc, puts up a shot that's no good, tries to chase the rebound down, but can't get to it. Keep your eyes on number five for the Hawks, Brianna Davis. She's their leading scorer, averaging about 15 points a game. Sheridan Gamble on the other side, number 33 for University, their leading scorer. Rebound and brought out by Guardiola. Gets it off to Davis. Davis goes all the way down to the baseline, looking to throw it into the paint and has that block. Red Oak going the other way, a two on two break, and a blocking foul going to be called against University. Foul's going to go against number 15. Serena Guardiola, her first, team first. It was in the act of shooting. So that will send Brianna Davis to the line to shoot a pair. Davis may be the leading scorer. She's just a sophomore. Gets that one to roll through. Red Oak on top, 3-0. Perfect from the free throw line for Davis. University still having trouble with that press. Davis able to get it across midcourt, but again has the ball stolen away. Headed for the basket is Johnson. Her shot is not going to be good, but she's going to be fouled in the act by Caceres, her first second team foul. And once again, Red Oak will be at the free throw line shooting a pair of shots. Anaya Johnson at six foot two, averaging just under 10 points a game. Nothing but net. Perfect three for three from the free throw line for the Hawks. Johnson misses this one. Campbell has the rebound for University. Get it out to Caceres. Caceres having trouble with the double team. And now we're going to get a foul called. Pushing foul. On University. Number three, Candace Caceres. That's her second. That'll bring a substitute into the game for the Trojans. As Davis returns. To the baseline, but cut off by Gamble. From the right baseline, outside the arc. Shot's no good, rebounded by Johnson. She puts it back, gets a rebound, puts it back. Now Gamble has the rebound, taken away from her, but a foul is going to be called on 23. Amaya Bowie, her first, first team foul. So again, University inbounding from their defensive basket. Going to go with the baseball pass. But once again, that's knocked away by Red Oak. Red Oak with a smothering defense here in the first quarter, has a 5-0 lead with three minutes into the period. Nice passing around to get it down low to Aliyah Harden for her second basket. She's got four points. Once again, they're going to try the baseball pass. Gamble's able to chase it down this time, but it was basically one on four. Almost throws it away, get the ball 
to the near side. The shot is short. Gamble has the rebound, tries to put up the shot, but Johnson blocks that. Number five, Candy Dawkins is the player in the game I hadn't seen check in. And now checking in for University is Joe Lee Lewis. Checking in for Red Oak is Azia Wilson, number 21. Going to get a two-shot foul here. Foul's going to be on 35, and Aya Johnson, her first. Second team foul. Two shot. That's the first one. Davis, the senior. Trying to get University on the board with 4.35 left to go, first quarter. Finally gets one to fall. So Michaela Davis has the first point of the game for University. Down seven to one, reaching the halfway mark of the first quarter. From the baseline, a throw out to the three-point arc. Shot is too strong by Davis, or excuse me, by Cooper. University gets the rebound. Once again, stopped at the half-court line. Cooper picks it up, puts up the shot, and it's good. Michael Cooper with her first basket of the night. Puts Red Oak on top 9-1 to one with four minutes to go in the first half. University finally gets it across midcourt. The trap there causes a jump ball. Ball will continue to be in the possession of University. Red Oak doing a good job on defense, trapping University at midcourt. Not giving them a chance to get anywhere near their basket. It's held them to just one point through the first four minutes and nine seconds of the game. Throw away as a no-look pass was taken away, and Deja Davis goes down and lays it in for two, and it's now a 10-point lead for Red Oak. Davis throws it across court. That pass is good. To Guardiola. Davis will take it down to the right baseline, put up a shot that's short. Red Oak has the rebound. A five on four break, pitches it out to the three point arc. It's no good. Rebounded by University. Alexis Hadnot comes up with it. Now we're going to get a foul on. Deja Davis be her first, third team foul. This will not be a shooting foul. They'll throw it in from across the way. Checking in for the Hawks, number 15, Michaela Glaster. For University, Candace Casares back in, along with Joe Lee Lewis. A couple of sophomores. Pass down low. The way to Gamble. Gamble's shot is short. Rebound fought for. Put back up. Won't go. And Red Oak ends up with the basketball. And do we have a foul? Or, yep, we do have a foul. Foul is going to be on University's Joe Lee Lewis, her first. And the fourth team foul for the Lady Trojans. 10-point lead for the Hawks. University's only managed to get one free throw so far. Driving layup, no good. Rebound put back by Johnson, but that's no good. And foul underneath, and she'll get two shots. I believe the foul was called on Alexis Hadnot, and that would be her first. Free throw up and good by Johnson. She's got two points now, both from the free throw line. Yeah. 
12 point lead, the largest lead in the game for the Hawks. Saris dribbles through the double team, gets it down court. Campbell though has it taken away from her. Red Oak going the other way, layup is good by Deja Davis to give her four points. Now another timeout by University. Trey Lloyd trying to settle his girls down. They've only been able to get one free throw here in the first quarter while Red Oak has jumped out to a 14 point advantage. Red Oak ran off a three game winning streak to start the year against Parish Episcopal, then won at Coppell and Kennedale. So they have defeated at least one 6A team. They did lose to Flower Mound 50 to 46 before playing in the Flower Mound tournament where they went two and two. They also played in the Bowers tournament where they won all four games over Hallsville, Paris, Tyler Lee, and Preston Wood Christian. They came out of that tournament with a 76-42 loss against Duncanville. I got to commend them for at least playing Duncanville. Then went to Waxahachie and won a close one 54-48 before starting conference play or district play where they opened up with a 70-41 win over Cleburne. Defeated Midlothian 51-22. They've also defeated Ennis 59-17 and Corsicana 73-27. So it looks like this stifling defense of Red Oak has paid off for them in that 5-0 district mark. Campbell having trouble finding somebody to pass the ball to. Lewis, a pass for Gamble is a little tall. Apparently it was knocked away by a member of the Hawks team. Maybe Gloucester got a hand on it. Saris triggers the inbounds pass. It's all the way out to the top to Gamble. She thought about the three. Now she gets it back to the point guard, Guardiola. Guardiola being guarded by Davis. Joe Lee. Working around the right side. Had to travel with the basketball before she went to the hoop. Good idea, though, by Joe Lee Lewis. Entering the game for University, Alexis had not. We're under two minutes to go in the quarter. University with just one point in the period on a free throw by Michaela Davis. Pass inside, stolen away at two on three break. Caceres pitches it out. The three pointer though, no good by Guardiola. University does get the rebound though. Another three pointer on the way by Guardiola. This time it misses everything. Now Gamble ends up with the ball and can't get it to go as she has it blocked partially by Gloucester. Gloucester takes it coast to coast and puts it in. Kayla Glaster, a senior, has her first two points. It's a 16-point lead now for Red Oak. Good movement of the ball, but Davis ends up with a push trying to knock the ball away and commits her second foul. In for Red Oak, number 10, DeAndrea Medlock, and number 11, Mar Marquia Mack. Also checking in is Kalijah P. Minute three to play, first quarter. University trying to get their only basket of the first quarter. Red Oak doing their best to deny them that with some smothering man-to-man -man defense and double teams. Now that's going to be a foul. I think that's going to be called on 15. Kayla Glaster, that's her first. And looks like we get a timeout called by the coach Ferretto. Mentioned the university started the season with the win, defeating Waco High 
49 to 33 in the only scheduled meeting between the two Waco schools this year. They did meet each other in a tournament later in the year. University participated in the Bowie tournament, losing to the likes of Round Rock, Langham Creek, Pflugerville, and Pflugerville Conley. They also played in the Corsicana tournament. That's where they lost to Waco High, 43 to 19. They also faced Whitney, Fort Worth Southwest, and Richland in that tournament. They've also taken on Midway from Waco's district, lost to Midway 55 to 11. Back to play with the last 45 seconds or so. And turnover against University gives the ball back to Red Oak. Up 17 to 1. Three-pointer on the way from the left side. No good. Rebounded by University, but they're going to get a traveling call against University. Guardiola unable to get by the double team, which ended up being a triple team after a moment. Inbounded by P. Sit it over to Mack. Mack dribbles it to the left side. Gets it down in the left corner to Plaster. Comes over to P. Got a foul called on number 12. That's Kalijah P, her first. With 16.05 left. Red Oaks not getting out of that full court press. University looking to find any way to break the press. Finally does. Gamble gets it across. Now Gamble has the ball stolen away for the moment. Red Oak is able to control it. Don't think they'll get a shot off before the buzzer. It won't go. So after the first eight minutes here at the University Gymnasium, the Lady Hawks from Red Oak on top of University by a score of 17 to one. The one point for University came on one of two free throws by Michaela Davis. Otherwise, from the field, the Lady Trojans could not buy a bucket. Asia Davis, meanwhile, had four points for Red Oak. Malaya Harden also had four points. Three points for Anaya Johnson. Two points for Brianna Davis, two for Michaela Glaster, and two for Micah Cooper. I believe this is the only time in my broadcasting career that I've ever seen a team held to just one point and a quarter. So Trey Lloyd over on the university bench trying to figure out how to get some points as his team tries to figure out how to break the stifling defense from Red Oak. Red Oak demonstrating why they are on top of the standings in District 14-5A. They get the ball to start the second quarter. Micah Cooper back in, along with Amaya Bowie at the guards. Ball gets away, rolls through legs, and goes out of bounds off the of University. Cooper will trigger the throw in. Gets it into Johnson. Johnson is tied up by Gamble. The ball taken away. Double dribble going to be called on Caceres. She might have got bumped, but that's not the way the officials saw it. And Red Oak keeps the basketball. Cooper gets it off to Davis. Davis across court to Cooper. University defense trying to hold things down. Finally, a three-pointer put up by Cooper. No good. And Gamble has the rebound for University. Has the ball knocked away. Looks like we're going to have a foul called on University for a push. And also, that foul is going to bring about an injury, I do believe.
Garrett and Gamble says she's okay. Tara Lloyd going to check her out and bring her to the sideline. But she says, no, I'm not going to the sideline. And actually, she is the one who got fouled. I'm not sure who the foul was called on. They're going to allow Gamble to leave the game and on alternate shooter, Michaela Davis at the line. Shoot a pair of shots. Misses the first one. Doesn't get a second one. If it was on the one and one. So it remains 17 to one. 7-10 left in the first half. Three-pointer no good. Rebounded by Guardiola for University and Red Oak decides to peel back. No full court press. Good job of following her shot by Joe Lee Lewis, but unable to get it to fall. Foul's going to be, though, on Lewis. And that'll be her second. Sheridan Gamble comes back into the game. Takes over for Serena Guardiola. University with a man-to-man -man defense. Trying to deny any penetration by Red Oak. Three-pointer put up. That's what University wants to see is three-pointers, and they get the rebound. And for those low percentage shots, Davis passed it down to Gamble. Gamble back to the top of the key. Gets it out top to Caceres. Rebounded by Red Oak. Thought about the three. Gamble almost got it stolen. Two-pointer put up and in by Brianna Davis. Her, her first basket of the night. And she's got four points. University has now played 10 minutes of this basketball game and only has one free throw on the scoreboard, down 18. Kayla Davis to inbounds the ball. It's it into Lewis. Back to Davis, who's double team. They got to get it across the timeline. That pass is stolen away. Davis takes it to the hole, and she'll pick up a blocking foul. Foul's going to be called on Joe Lee Lewis. I have that as her third. Davis at the line to shoot a pair. Makes good on the first one. And now has five points, and three of those have come from the free throw line. Lewis goes to the sideline in favor of Guardiola. Makes them both count. Six points now for Brianna Davis. Red Oaks back to that full court press. University learning that they got to pass it to break it and manages to do so. Caceres puts up a shot that's no good and it's rebounded by Davis for Red Oak. She'll just go coast to coast with it and lay it in. Her second basket of the night. And now we've got a technical foul called. A little frustration on the part of University. There's Michaela Davis. Toss the ball to the other end of the court. Trey Lloyd picks her over toward the water bucket. And tries to calm her down. Or excuse me, that's Tara Lloyd, Trey's dad. Trying to help her understand that that's not the way that you take out your frustrations. Deja Davis at the line to shoot the technical shots. It's first one. Excuse me, that's number three, Aliyah Harden.
Eight of nine from the free throw line for Red Oak. Make it nine of ten. And they're up by 24 at 25 to one. Again, the only point for University came back in the first half, or first quarter, excuse me. Michaela Davis hit the second of two free throws. Cooper from baseline, pitches it down low to Harden, and Harden drives in and gets the basket, her third basket of the night to give her eight points. Lead is 26. Pass is knocked away and out of bounds. University learned a little bit more how to break that press. Caceres will trigger the inbound pass. Probably looking for Sheridan if she can, but gets it outside. Goes all the way out to the top to Guardiola, who will reset the offense. Basically a man-to-man -man defense for Red Oak. Miss on the steal. Caceres drives in, underhands a shot, and it goes out of bounds, though, after the rebound. It'll be Red Oak ball with 440 left in the first half. Out to the three-point arc. Taking the three-pointer is Davis. Ball's going to go out of bounds off of Red Oak. University will inbound the ball and once again have to break that Red Oak press. Saris gets it in. Throws it down to Gamble. They got it across the timeline. Gets it back to Caceres, comes over to Guardiola, tries to pass it into the corner, but it gets away from Candy Dawkins. And the turnover gives it back to Red Oak. Good job by the Trojan defense to keep the ball from getting inside. They're forcing three-pointers. They just are not able to score anything. Going to get a foul on number 23. Amaya Bowie, her second. And University going to get a chance at the free throw line. And Candace Casares at the line, the sophomore. Shooting a one and one. University of one of two, or one of three on the free throw line. They got one of four now. Once again, it's a shot, misses an opportunity to put points on the board. Reaper loses the basketball, but gets it off. A foul called on the shot. It'll be a two shot foul. I believe it's going to be called on 33, Sheridan Gamble, her first. There's Brianna Davis to the line. But she's perfect now, five for five from the free throw line and has nine points. And she's the leading scorer, averaging a little over 15 a game. Drains another one. Got more. Points from the free throw line than she does from the field. Red Oak steals the ball again. Lay in by Davis. Now gives her 12. University missing opportunities to pass the ball off, get double teamed. That pass is going to be too tall for Destiny Burke to pull in. Those out of bounds are going to get some substitutes in for Red Oak. Checking in is Azia Wilson, along with number 15, Michaela Glaster. 3.20 left and counting in the second quarter. A 30-point lead 
for Red Oak at 31 to one. Look to pass it inside. It's going to be taken away by Guardiola. Gets it down court quickly. Destiny Burks puts it back outside to Guardiola to Gamble. Gamble from the right side, picks up a double team, gets the pass off, back to Gamble. Guardiola looking for something open. Can't find it. Caceres looking for an opening. Back to Guardiola, down low to Caceres. She drives the baseline, puts up a shot. It's no good, but a foul is going to be called. On number 11. Makia Mack, her first. Caceres at the line. I believe she's shooting two this time. And hits the first one. Finally, University breaks the scoring drought with 2.38 left to go in the second quarter. They trail 31 to two. Still have not hit a basket from the field. All of their points have come from the free throw line, including that one as Caceres is now two and three all in this quarter. 31 to three, our score. Pass down low is taken away. Had not, gets it up court. And gonna get a foul called for pushing on Deja Davis. I have that as her third foul. Most likely that's gonna send her to the bench. And once again, it'll be Caceres at the free throw line shooting a couple because we got into the double bonus. This is that one. Michael Cooper going to check in for Bowie, who has, who has, or excuse me, Davis, who has the three fouls. That one falls through. Three of five from the free throw line for Caceres. He's got three of the four points for University. Down by 27. Driving into the lane, putting up the shot that's good is Cooper. Her second basket, she's got four points. Two minutes left to go in the first half. University trails 33 to four. Charging foul going to be called against Destiny Burks. End of the game for Red Oak. DeAndre Medlock, a junior. Takes over for Wilson. Cooper finds an opening down low. Drops it in to Medlock, who gets her first basket of the game. And the biggest lead of the game now is 31 points at 35 to four with a minute 40 left to go. University just has a tough time breaking this man-to-man -man defense. Nice behind the back dribble by Caceres. Back to Caceres it goes from Burks. Caceres from the left baseline, shot won't go. Rebounded and put back up by Hadnot, and she's fouled. Foul's gonna be on number 20, Mackenzie Taplin, a sophomore. Hadnot with her first point opportunity of the night. This is the front end. Four of nine from the free throw line for University. They can't get that one to fall either. Red Oak traveled with the basketball after getting the rebound, so University will get a chance to inbounds underneath their own basket with 76 seconds left in the first half. Trailing by 31. Trying to work the inbounds play to Gamble. Gamble bounces, puts up the shot that's no good, and rebounded by Taplin. 
quickly down court. Goes Reno. And on the fast break, they're able to get the two points from Glaster and also picks up the foul. Blocking foul going to be called on Hadnot, her second. Send Glaster at the line to shoot one more. And now 33 points is the largest lead of the game. This had not will leave. Blaster hits the charity point. Minute seven to go. And Red Oak staying in the full court press. University breaks it this time. Good cross dribble by Caceres. Gets it out to Guardiola. Her three-pointer is off the rim. Put back and block. And goes to University out of bounds. Caceres will throw it in. Checking in. Number 12, Elijah P. Pass goes out, all the way out to Burks. Burks travels, goes to the baseline on the right side. Foul's gonna be called on 20. Kayla Taplin, her second. And Burks will get a chance from the free throw line. Destiny Burks, a junior, shoots from the corner of the charity stripe and can't get it to fall. Haley Parks in now for Red Oak. All of university's points, all four of them, have come from the free throw line. And they have missed quite a few opportunities to score from the free throw line. See if Red Oak just waits for the chance to take the final shot here. They move the ball around the arc. Up, they're going to go ahead and put the ball up. Fight for the rebound underneath. And it's brought out by Caceres for University. She's going to take it coast to coast and can't get the layup. Red Oak breaks out on a fast break. Cooper will stop. Throws it inside. And going to get a foul underneath on the attempt to put it back in. I believe that foul is going to be on Michaela Davis, her second. And puts Kalijah P at the line, looking for her first point of the night. Can't make it happen. Apparently had someone from Red Oak in the lane too early. So the free throw will not count. 11 seconds left to go. University with the big pass. Able to break the press. Three pointer put up, no good. Rebounded by Gamble and she's fouled as she tries to put it back up. The foul is going to be on P, her second. Campbell unable to make that one go down. University now 4 of 13 from the free throw line. Campbell gets one more try. Makes that one happen. 5 of 14 in the first half. But now we have a whistle before the shot. Did we have a timeout called? Not sure what we got. Well, whatever we got, it's the end of the end of the quarter and the end of the half. We have completed the first 16 minutes of this one, and Red Oak 
in command by a score of 38 to 5. Stay tuned, second half action coming up in a moment here on Waco ISD TV. Getting ready for second half of action here at the University High School gym with Red Oak on top by a score of 38 to 5. 34 points was the biggest lead of the first half. University did not score a basket at all in the first half. All their points came from the free throw line, three by Caceres, one each for Davis and Gamble. Meanwhile, Red Oak led by Brianna Davis with 12 points in the first half. Malaya Harden had eight, five points for Micaiah Gloucester, four points for Davis and Cooper, and two points apiece for Medlock. Johnson had three, excuse me. The University gets the possession here to start the third quarter. Pass knocked away, and Red Oak on the run. Good teamwork there. To get Anaya Johnson the basket and give her five points. Again, they stay in their full court press, and they knock it out of bounds. Micah Cooper will cause University to have to throw the ball in again. Ball knocked away by Johnson. Shot put up and good by Cooper. Cooper's got six. Be interesting to see when Darren Eubanks finally calls off the dogs. He calls off his full court press. I'm sure he's trying to get his team ready for playoff competition because he's going to meet stiffer competition along the way and wants them to be in tournament shape when that happens. Ball is out of bounds. Off of Harden. University will get the throw in. Gamble takes it. The dribble toward the timeline. Now gets it back to Caceres. Caceres will be double teamed. Pass down to the baseline is a little long. Nobody could handle it. Cooper looking for an opening, just kind of kind of rest a minute. Now she'll drive toward the hoop, put up a shot that's no good, but Johnson's there for the rebound, and she's fouled as he tries to put it back up. Foul's going to be on Alexis Hadnot. I have that as her third. Johnson will go to the line where she is three of four tonight. That gives her six points now. University from the free throw line in the first half was 5 of 14, while Red Oak was 12 of 14. So a seven-point difference just at the free throw line. Johnson misses on that one, though. Pass is stolen away by Johnson. Goes in for the layup, and it's good. Maya Johnson now has eight points. And the biggest lead of the game for Red Oak at 40. Once again, the pass stolen almost at the timeline. And finally, a basket for the University Trojans as Caceres lays that one in with exactly two minutes gone in the third quarter. Caceres with the block. Ball bounces around. Coming out of with it. Well, nobody yet. And finally, we're going to get it tied up. The jump ball is going to be long, too. Red Oak. Cooper going to take it to the right side, looking down toward the baseline. Drives in. Pass it off, though, to Bowie. From the three-point arc, no good. Red Oak gets the rebound, will reset the offense. Traveled with the basketball, did they call a foul? 
Called a pushing foul on number 10, Jada Sanders. Her first foul. Second team foul. Johnson on the rebound, or the inbound play, has the ball stripped from her. Sarris gets it off to Davis. Campbell with some fancy dribbling, trying to beat the double team. Now Caceres trying, able to get away from the pickpocket. That shot's blocked by Reto, and they're on the run once again. The shot put up and in by Michael Cooper to, for her eighth point of the night. Leads back to 40. Sarah's trying to avoid that half-court trap. Able to do so with a nice pass. Gamble with the put back and gets her first basket of the night. Sheridan Gamble now has three points. University with four points in the quarter in the first two baskets of the game. Five, 425 left in the third quarter. Nice inlet pass to Harden. Gets her first basket of the third quarter to have 10 points on the night. And University trying to avoid the half-court trap. That one's going to go off of Red Oak as she rifles that one off the thighs of Micah Cooper. Into the game for University, number five, Candy Dawson. Like that Dawkins, my apologies. Ball knocked out of bounds by Davis. I'm in front of the university bench, all the way out to the top. Takes it to the baseline. Try to pass it back in, but it's stolen away for the moment. Caceres fakes the shot, goes to the baseline, and picks up the blocking foul. That blocking foul going to be on Brianna Davis. That's his, her first foul. It's not a shooting foul, first team foul against Red Oak. Inbound under their own basket. Quick put back is no good by Hadnot. On the fast break, Red Oak at the other end gets the basket from Amaya Bowie, her first basket of the night. The timeout called by University. Three minutes, 43 seconds left to go in the third quarter. 51 to, 49, to nine is our score. That's right, 51 to nine. University did not get their first basket of the night until halfway through the third quarter. They're just one point shy in this third quarter of matching the amount they scored in the entire first half. They have had trouble solving the full court press and the half court trap of the Red Oak Hawks. Again, Red Oak comes into the game 5-0 in district play at 18 and 6 on the year. And some of those losses were to teams like Flower Mound, McKinney, Duncanville. They also played a tournament at Duncanville where they lost to a California team from Troy and another team from Arkansas, Marion, Arkansas. So not only playing interstate rivals, but intrastate rivals. Trey Lloyd doing his best to help his girls solve the half-court trap. Find a way to score some points here in the third quarter. Sarris tries to take it to the corner. Now she's double teamed, gets the pass off. And a traveling violation, or maybe she was out of bounds with the foot. Turns the ball back over to Reddo. Asia Davis has four points all in the full second, uh, pardon me, the first quarter. Takes the three-pointer from the top of the key off the front of the iron, but the rebound for Red Oak inside by Medlock gives him another opportunity. Pass out to the three-point arc. Another shot put up no good, but they once again they get the rebound. 
Davis crashes in and gets the two points. She's got six. Under three minutes to go, third quarter. Red Oak setting up the half court trap. University trying to get it across before 10 seconds and able to do so. And the pass gets away as Caceres tries to avoid the double team and did not have a teammate coming to meet the pass. Three-pointer, short of the mark and out of bounds. It'll be University ball. Kayla Glaster had five points in the first half, but no three-point baskets. That was, I believe, her first three-point attempt. Again, University is looking to break the half-court press and does so. Well done. And a layup put up and in by... Candy Dawkins, her first basket. That's the way you break the half-court press. Sure, that's what Trey Lloyd has been preaching over on the sideline for most of this game. As University gets another chance here as Makila Mack travels with the basketball. See if they can do it from the other side. Yep, a bad pass is going to get it right back to Red Oak. With under 10 minutes to go, third quarter. 53 to 11, our score. A 42 point lead for Red Oak. It's been as much as 44. Pass inside, knocked away. Gamble controls it for University, looking for some help. Finally gets the help. Coming back is Joe Lee Lewis to Gamble. Gamble gets it off to Caceres. Caceres looking, didn't get it across in 10. Took too long to get it across midcourt. Second time that University's been caught with that and turning the ball over. 1.35 to go third quarter. Davis pitches to the near side. Back to Davis, her three-pointer rims out. On the rebound, shot no good. Gamble has the rebound for University. Caceres, once again, going to be picked up on the half-court trap. Pushing foul going to be called on number 11. Marquia Mack, her second. Second team foul here in the third quarter, so not a shooting foul. Destiny Burks comes in for University number 40. Pass inside to Lewis. Lewis puts up the shot that's no good. Red Oak has the rebound heading the other way with less than a minute to go. A pass toward the far corner is going to go out of bounds and University will get the ball back. Sanders checks out. Dawkins back in. Caceres to Dawkins. Dawkins down low to Lewis. And Lewis is going to pick up the foul. Is going to be blocked off by DeAndrea Medlock, her first. Third team foul. University inbounding under their own basket. All the way out to Burks. Burks, back it goes to Caceres. Caceres trying to beat the defense of Davis, but Davis all over with 30 seconds to go. The pass is a little wide of the mark. The turnover gives it back to Red Oak, up 53 to 11. Pass into the free throw line. A little short on the shot there by Glaster, and it goes out of bounds. And continue to be Red Oak ball. Glaster looking for the inbound pass. 
passes in to Medlock. Medlock back to Glaster. Pitch it out to Mack. All the way out top to Davis. Back to Glaster. She puts up the three that's no good. Rebounded by University and a long shot with the time running out is no good. And we've completed three periods here at the University High School gym with Red Oak on top by 42, 53 to 11. University was six points in that period. That outdoes their entire first half as they hit three two-point baskets. Red Oak, meanwhile, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 points in the period. Take this opportunity to thank our crew here at the Waco University Gymnasium. That brings you some pictures. Our cameras on the floor are Jesse Maldonado and Ricky Mazza. Tyrell McSpadden taking care of the upstairs camera. And always a special thanks to our executive producer, Jesse Pateo. Thank you guys for all you do. Got eight minutes left. As I said earlier, wonder when Darren Eubanks will call off the dogs. And not full court press with a 42 point lead going into the last eight minutes. We'll see. He sends pretty much his, his starters back out there. Cooper. Davis. Haley Parks in the game, though, along with Mackenzie Taplin. So those aren't starters. And here we go with the fourth quarter. From the baseline, shot is short. Goes out of bounds off of Red Oak. I believe P was last to touch it. Elijah, the junior. And they do go back and don't go with the full court press, but it looks like they're going to continue to try the half court press, trap. University able to break it this time, but the dribble stolen away. Good job, though, by Caceres to take it back. A 1-0-2 break. Caceres puts up the left hander and it'll go. Candace Caceres now has seven points in the game. Up, just moving the ball around outside the arc. Not in any hurry. Got a 40-point lead with under seven minutes left to go. Trying to pass it inside, knocked away. University comes up with the basketball. Nice play by Joe Lee Lewis to come up with the steal there. Saris gets it across. Gets it back to Dawkins. And a foul called on Red Oak. Going to be on number five, Brianna Davis, just her second. It's a fourth team foul. University to inbound. Guardiola takes the pass from Caceres, goes to the baseline, puts up a shot. It won't fall, but she's going to go to the free throw line. The foul's on 24, Haley Parks. That'll be her first. Guardiola hits the first. Her first point of the night comes from the free throw line. It's that one as well. First time University's hit back-to-back -back free throws. Again, they just went 5-12 for 12 from the charity stripe in the first half. Red Oak looking for a chance to drop it inside at the baseline. Shot put up by P, but she's fouled in the process. A pushing foul. And we'll get two shots. 
He was 0 for 1 from the free throw line in the first half. Nothing but net there, though. Her first point tonight. Ninth different player to score tonight for Red Oak. That one won't fall, though. University has the rebound. Red Oak will peel back and then once again try the half-court trap. University breaks that trap. A double team a good job of stepping through it and picking up the foul. It's going to be on Mackenzie Taplin. I have that as her third. 16 fouls for so the next... Red Oak foul will send University to the line in the bonus. Saris goes into Lewis, out to Guardiola for the three. It's no good. Rebounded, though, by Caceres. She puts up the shot, no good. Rebound come out for Red Oak. Nice behind the back dribble, pitches it out for the three pointer. But no good, rebounded and put back up. And University comes down with it. And the foul going to be called at the baseline on Haley Parks, her second. And now University will go to the free throw line down 54 to 15 with 536 left to go in the game. Alexis had not at the line. A one and one opportunity. There's 0 for 2 in the first half. Make her 0 for 3. Quickly down court. A drive from the baseline. Pitches it back out to P. She puts up the shot that's good. Elijah P has her first basket of the night and three points. Guardiola. Has the pass knocked out of bounds. Guardiola inbounds it to Caceres. Caceres picked up in the backcourt. Got to get it across the timeline here again, and sure enough, they do. Down low to Dawkins. Dawkins is fouled. We will reach in by number 20, Mackenzie Taplin. I have her with four. Got to get a whole new set of Trojans into the game. Jada Sanders, Destiny Burks. Sheridan Gamble also checks back into the game. Dawkins at the line. Misses the front end of the one and one. Shot is blocked. Gamble comes out with it for University. It's it off to Caceres to get it across midcourt. Baseball pass. A little too strong, a little too tall. For Michaela Davis to pull down. Destiny Burks into the game. Takes over for Candy Dawkins. Checking in for Red Oak is for Maya Bowie. That'll give Kalijah P a rest. Four minutes, 37 seconds left in the game. University been cutting into that what was a 44 point lead at one time. It's 56 to 15 now. Down by 41. Red Oak right now, you would think they're just content to find an open shot anywhere. There's an open shot there, but no good. Good job of rebounding the shot though by Taplin. The University comes out with it. Going to the right side, layup's no good. Gamble has the rebound. She puts it back up, it won't fall. And now Red Oak has the rebound, but she's gonna be fouled at the baseline. Not sure, but I think that foul may have been on Burks. We'll give that her second. 
And they got four minutes left to play in the game. University basically playing a 2-3 zone. Trying to prevent any penetration. They'll take the three-pointer. It's way off the mark. But there to rebound it and put it right back up and in is Amaya Bowie for her fourth point of the night. All of that has come in the second half. 58 to 15, our score. She goes across and back at the half court line. And a turnover once again for University. Red Oak has used that mid court line to its advantage for turnovers tonight. Brianna Davis brings it up, looking to drive the paint and does so. Gamble tried to alter his shot, but Davis just gets it to go, and she's got 14 points on the night now. Up by 45 now for Red Oak, 60 to 15. Good passing by University. Burks, though, has her shot blocked, and it goes out of bounds. Harden there on the defense. Saris will perform the inbound play here. Try to bounce it back into her, and it's stolen away by Red Oak. Good job by Davis to dribble out of it. Try the long pass down to Harden, but it goes out of bounds. End of the game for Red Oak. Isaiah Wilson. Deja Davis and DeAndra Medlock. Saris picked up at the half court line, gets it down to Gamble. Gamble with a quick pass outside, long cross court pass to Burks. Burks double team now, tries to get through it and can't. Davis picks it up, passes it out to Bowie. Bowie will take it back out from the baseline. Three-point shot on the way. Rims out. And we have a jump ball called. It'll be Red Oaks ball. Or excuse me, be University's ball. On the alternate possession, 2.15 remaining. 45-point deficit for University. They trailed at half, 38-5. Long pass to Burks. Burks tries to go down low. It's tried to go down low to Burks by University. And shot put up by Davis. She now has eight. Biggest lead of the night now is 47. They're going to go, call it on zero or 23. 23 is going to get pick up the foul. That's Bowie. I got her with three. That'll send University to the line to shoot a one and one. It'll be Candace Casares to take that one and one. She is three of five from the free throw line. That one gives her eight points on the night. In for Red Oak, number 11, Nakia Mack. Saras gets one more try. Makes good with it. Five of seven from the charity stripe for Caceres tonight. Give her eight points. Good job of putting that up and in by Wilson, her first basket of the night. Ten different players have now scored for Red Oak in the game. Pass to Gamble, though she was double teamed, and now the pass will get away from her as she tried to get over to Destiny Burks. And just didn't quite have the handle on it. 80 seconds remain. 64-17 our score. Pass down low is knocked away. Out of bounds by University. It will remain... Red Oak ball. Red 
Riley gets the pass in. Good open shot there, but altered by University. Pass to Caceres. Stop, pop, and short. Red Oak with the rebound, but going to lose it on the dribble. With less than a minute to go, University has the ball again. Destiny Burke. Destiny Burke with the throw in. She's got the ball and throws it in. Burke gets it back. Double team. Looking for someone to pass it to. Gets it to Gamble. Three-pointer all the way, rattles out by Davis. This one's inside the arc and good by Jada Sanders, her first two of the night. Seventh different player to score for night for University. The three-pointer from Harden is good. She's got 13 on the night. And we're down to the final 15 seconds. University trailing 67 to 19. Turn around by Gamble, will fall. Sheridan Gamble, five points on the night. As Red Oak runs out the clock and will win this one by 46 points. The final is Red Oak 67 and University 21. Red Oak will now move to 19 and 6 on the year, 6 and 0 in district play. While University falls to 2 and 23 on the year, and they are 1 and 5 in district action. So far, entire Waco ISD crew. I'm Mark Smith. So long from the University High School Gymnasium. <laughs>